Hey guys, Josh Thomas here from thebitblock.com to take you through our video review for Mario Golf World Tour on the Nintendo 3DS. Is it a hole-in-one? Does it make par? Is it an eagle or a bogey? <laughs> well, I don't know. Let's find out. So the basic gameplay formula to Mario Golf has really not been drastically changed up here. I mean, if you've played Mario Golf before in the past, you will feel right at home. Uh, you select your character, and of course each one has their own unique way of playing, and then, well, you hit up the links. Now because it is a Mario sports title, there are plenty of crazy wacky things going on here. One of the new gameplay additions, though, involves using items to enhance your shots. So mushrooms give your ball a speed boost when it lands, the ice flower can bounce across water, the bullet bill will blast forward in a straight line, and the new bomb will explode in the air and then it drops your ball straight down without it rolling. So that can be kind of beneficial at times. And then of course, just like before, you can also add topspin and backspin to your shots. One gripe that I do have about the game's controls though, is that when you zoom in to aim, you have to use the D-pad to aim your shot instead of using the circle pad. Honestly, I think this kind of feels uncomfortable, and it's a shame that you can't just use the circle pad to aim your shots at all times. But, you know what? Overall, this is classic Mario Golf gameplay, and it's pretty darn satisfying. This is a pretty nice looking game. It's not quite as impressive as Mario Golf Toadstool Tour on the GameCube, but it comes pretty close. The characters are all nicely modeled and animated, and there's a good variety to them. Sadly, and this is a little bit strange, the actual 3D effect here is really not quite up to par. It's kind of dull, and it doesn't really give you a sense of good depth. Which kind of sucks, because when you think about it, a golf game is definitely one that could benefit from a 3D effect. I think a really good 3D effect would definitely have helped you when it came to putting. I gotta say, I need all the help I can get when it comes to putting. I'm... I'm a pathetic putter. <laughs> but don't worry too much, because the good news is that all the courses look great. And not only that, there's a great collection of them to play in. There are three kind of more traditional courses, like the forest, the beach, and the mountains. But then there are really crazy courses based on the Mario worlds, like Peach Gardens, which is, as you can see, very pink and flowery. You can also golf under the water in Cheap Cheap Lagoon, which I think is totally awesome. And then you can avoid all sorts of hazards in DK Jungle. Trust me, those giant chomping plants can really mess with you. So yeah, World Tour's visuals are a huge step up from anything we've ever seen in a handheld version of Mario Golf. With the exception of a few cool remixes, the soundtrack here is pretty basic and it definitely does sound like Camelot music. Uh, those remixes, however, are pretty snazzy. You'll hear stuff like uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns music, or Yoshi's Story, the Super Mario Brothers series, and, and lots more. The actual audio quality is a bit kind of compressed, though. It's not horrible, but it's certainly not the cleanest sounding game that I've ever heard on the 3DS. And then one final little issue with the audio is that characters will randomly make noises while you're trying to aim your shot. It really doesn't make any sense uh, for characters to just keep making random noises when they're not doing anything. So I thought that was kind of strange, but no big deal. World Tour has some decent audio quality and some really cool remixes. Alright, so replay value, I think, is where this game really shines. There's a lot to do here, trust me. With a total of 10 courses to play in and 18 characters, your basic golf fun is kind of covered. But there's also a new mode called the Castle Club. Here you'll play as your me and take on a few tournaments as well as some addictive extra shot practice challenges. There's even a shop where you can spend coins to purchase a whole bunch of gear for your me to wear. Everything from clubs, balls, undershirts and pants, outfits, hats, gloves, shoes, and even full body character costumes, which are sometimes kinda terrifying. <laughs> There's a staggering amount of gear to unlock and buy. It's pretty cool too. The designs on everything are themed around the Mario universe. Personally, I'm pretty partial to the cheap, cheap look. Or actually, I don't know, maybe the blooper style. <laughs> I think most players will have tons of fun changing it up with what you're wearing and seeing how that will affect your performance. The downside to the Castle Club is, well, uh, there's just really not a lot to do here. There's a lot of empty rooms that kind of serve no purpose. The cafe, the training room, 
The locker rooms? They're all just kind of there, with nothing to do in them. Also, characters that walk around here only give you boring golfing advice, instead of, like, offering up some kind of unique challenge. The Castle Club is a very neat idea that just really could have been more fleshed out. The game also features a plethora of fun challenges to take on, and by a plethora, I mean a whopping 100. These challenges involve collecting star coins, and then making par, uh, shooting through the gold rings, collecting 100 coins in three holes, taking on Mario characters in a match play, uh, time attack, and also club slots, which is one of my personal favorites in the Mario Golf series. These really add in a lot of replay value. And then last, but certainly not least, Mario Golf World Tour is the very first game in the series to offer online play. And as you can imagine, just being able to take on anyone around the world at any time is pretty nice. And taking part in the several online tournaments that Nintendo is going to be holding will definitely, you know, keep you busy and coming back again and again. Especially considering the tournaments will reward you with coins and exclusive gear for your me to wear. That's actually how I got the super cool Game Boy gear. So yeah, you're going to want to participate in those. Mario Golf World Tour is a very good game. In fact, I will happily say this is the best handheld version in the entire series. For the first time ever, we can play Mario Golf on the go and actually experience real 3D courses and characters instead of it all just being 2D sprites. There are a few hiccups along the way. Like I said earlier, the controls do take some getting used to, the audio could be a little bit higher quality, and strangely enough, there's no option for download play. And then also, the Castle Club left me feeling, well, a little bit underwhelmed. It's cool, but it's just not all it could be. All of that aside though, this game definitely does deliver. Not only is there a great selection of courses and characters, but there are a ton of bonus challenges and gear to collect. Online play and competing in tournaments adds in lots of fun too. I'm even really hyped up for the upcoming downloadable content. I mean, come on, there's gonna be playable Nabbit. <laughs> I cannot wait to play as Nabbit. The BitBlock is rewarding Mario Golf World Tour with an 8.5 out of 10. Hey, thanks for watching this video from the BitBlock. If you want to stay up to date on tons of exclusive Nintendo content, be sure to subscribe by clicking here. And if you don't want the fun to end, you can check out more Nintendo coverage by clicking over here.